Let's make this Dell Optiplex into a better gaming PC by using the most powerful low-profile graphics cards you can currently get. So previously, we put this RTX 3050 single-slot low-profile graphics card into this PC, and we got good performance. But in order to get more FPS, I'm going to add an RTX 5060. This is going to be more complicated as the RTX 5060 is a dual-slot card and doesn't fit inside with a PSU in the way. Additionally, it requires way more power than a 200-watt Dell PSU can handle, so the power supply has to come out. We will unscrew, unplug, and take out the PSU, and and replace it with this 600 watt flex PSU. This is just a cheap AliExpress flex PSU, so it may blow up, but it only costs like $45, so it's a lot cheaper than the alternative flex PSUs out there. You can see that this PSU is a lot smaller in height, which will make room for our GPU. I'm going to hold it down with cable ties and plug in the 4 pin CPU and the 24 to 6 pin Dell adapter. Then I'm going to plug in our GPU into the X16 slot without the IO bracket installed, because it doesn't fit with it on due to this piece of metal on the side. It's held on pretty securely as the slot and the case hold it in place. Then I can plug in our 6 pin PCIe power connector. Starting the PC up, we can see it works perfectly. In 3D Mark, our graphics score goes up from 4717 with the RTX 3050 to 13187 with the RTX 5060. In games like Cyberpunk, at high settings 1080p, we can get 99.3 FPS on average, whereas the RTX 3050 in this PC could only get 58.9. That's like almost double the FPS. We can even play at 1440p Ultra with 61.7 FPS. So our Dell Optiplex now has almost doubled the performance by changing our PSU and graphics card. As you may know, there aren't many single slot low profile GPU options out there, so this is quite useful to be able to plug in any low profile graphics card into a Dell Small Form Factor PC.